retailers are. Thank you for tuning in. Okay, after the last video, I got some feedback and some questions, so I thought I'd start answering them straight away. So hopefully I can start helping those people that require it. So the first question I had was pencils. Which graphite pencil should I buy? Well, let's give an example of what we got. Okay, to answer that question, it's quite simple really. What I've done is basically laid down some of the pencils that I used. I don't use all of these, but these are what I had to hand that I could grab. I do have many more, I'm afraid to say. So basically what you have here is your different sort of pencils is you've got your pump actions, which is a lead inside, and you just press this and it will pump out. Then you've got your graphic pencils. This is one from Derwent. Then you've got your cheap pencils, which you buy uh, supermarkets or just sometimes they come as a freebie in a pencil case or things like that this is someone sent to me because it's just got Star Wars on it um, then you've got your washable ones now these are from Derwent and basically what this is is with the paintbrush there it's indicating that it, it can wash away so you it's easy to get rid of if you're doing paintings and things like that and you don't want the pencil to show very good for that then you've got your just normal graphite pencils, which is uh, from Kohinoor, which are very good. And then you've got your cheap pencil, which you've mostly seen when you're in the old school days, and you've got the uh, eraser on the top, which, which is majority of the time is absolutely rubbish, or it breaks off, or you end up chewing it. So with these pump actions, now on my last video, you would have seen me use the Derwent uh precision let's see if i can zoom in a bit so basically with this one is it's just a pump action and the lead comes out and then basically to put it back we just push it back like so holding the button down now on this end here if you remove this you have a little rubber on there a little razor which to be quite honest is pretty good i don't know if you can get refills for that i'm sure you can um they may be the same as their uh electric rubber size um i think i've got one of them actually here um uh, yeah but that's uh, that's a bit too big i think too big in diameter yeah so it's not the same size as that so whether you can still get them i'm not sure but um, I don't really use the rubber anyway. So th that's that's pretty nice. I, I use this if I want to get a real fine line um, and just straighten things up. That's what I'd use this one for uh, and graphic drawing, really. Uh, the one beside it is the one that I use the most. Now, this one, I have to say, uh, I really love. I... I, I I have a big passion for this pencil and the reason for that is is the lead as you push it you you could pull out what size you want you'd have to pump it and of course just here as you can see you can get different size leads and what you do is if hopefully you can see on the camera is you turn this to whatever leads in there and at the moment there's a H inside that so you leave the little arrow pointing to the H and you can also put it away like so now what i do like about this the actual pencil is the top of this now if you remove this and turn it round as you can see and it's an actual pencil sharpener there you go so you can get a nice point on the end of it which is very important very important to have a nice point on the end of your pencil. Just place that in there. So that one is one of my favourites, and yeah, and I, I've been using that one a lot. I'd say out of all these pencils, that's the one I mainly use. Now these here, these were just a cheap set I got off of eBay, and you got different sizes. So basically, 0 0.9, 0 0.5, 0 0.3. And this is just the thickness of the leads, if you can see that. 
So basically, so your 0 0.3 is, if I pump that out, and you can see that it is very thin. But the trouble is with it being that thin, if you've got it pumped out too far, it will snap very easy. Now that's good for like hair, things like that if you want to do grains of hair, having a nice thin pencil makes things a lot easier. And you can see that these have got an indicator on them as well saying HP and of course you can buy different size leads, different shades, so you've got B, B, uh, 2B, 4H, 3H, 2H, H, F, HB. So that's basically, I will use these four the most. Occasionally using this one for straight lines. Uh, the others, I don't use, I, I did use this when, when I got a set of these, I used these a lot. Um, and, and the problem was, was I got introduced to Koinor, which um, are slightly cheaper than Derwent. But the quality is just excellent. I really do like their quality and their products. So I'm a big fan of Kona. Um, and I got introduced to them on their pastel pencils. And ever since then I've been buying their pencils. Because I, I am pretty impressed with that company. Uh, and their quality. So, But to be quite honest. Any one of these pencils here will still do you a good drawing. So... It doesn't really matter. So if you just go and get one of these and sharpen it. Now this this is going to be a HB. Okay, it's not going to be as good quality as this HB. But it's still going to be pretty good enough for you to do a good drawing. But the key factor of the whole thing is like this pencil here is have a decent point on it. So that's talking about sharpening. Which we'll talk about later. So this isn't the complete set. There is many pencils out there and I really do understand it gets quite confusing. Do I buy this set? Do I buy that set? But on your pencils, what I would always suggest is that you buy a set like this. Now the reason why I say that is because straight away you've got your 8B, 7B, 6B, 5B, 4B, 3B, 2B, B, F, H, 2H and of course that HB will sit in there. Um, with a set like this, and then you've got a nice card here, which is showing you the different shades you're gonna get from each pencil, yeah? Now there is bigger sets than this, and so if you if you wanted to go bigger, you can. Uh, myself, personally, this, this is sufficient enough to what, you know, to what we got here. So we're up to two H there, which is there. So you've got, on this set, we've got those up to two H. And of course, if you wanted to go further, they're just getting lighter and lighter. Um, and of course, this will help you with your shading. So, and it's not about pressure, because a lot of people will put pressure down when they're drawing. It's it's all about lightness. So if you can still handle the pencil nice and light, of course, when, you're, when you've got an 8B and you're handling it nice and light, then it's going to be a lot darker. Let's see if I can, I've got a piece of paper here. That I can show you. So this is just just rubbish paper to be quite honest. This is just paper from a uh, printing machine. So just nice light actions. It doesn't really have a point on it. Um, I don't know if I've got a sharpen yet. I've got a sharpener here. So let's give it a bit of a sharpen. Should have had this ready really, shouldn't I? Okay, so you can see, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not pressing hard. I'm not going hard, and and, and do remember, this is not exactly quality paper. But it's giving me a nice, nice shade there. There you go. Just block these in. Just get rid of the whiteness there. Okay, and then. Let's get the 2H.
and it's the same I'm doing exactly the same you could say oh this is not that sharp it's not too bad but we can sharpen it there we go and you can see you can see the difference straight away so and of course with your normal pencil which is like your HB uh, let's sharpen that as well now we know that that is going to be an in-between color an in-between shade of the two so you can see the darkness getting lighter and even lighter here yeah? so and that's basically when you buy a set of pencils if you buy a set that's got the 8B right down to H or even further H2 I believe that other one was um, if you're going down to that sort of size um, then base with that set then that's helping you straight away so it's helping you straight away with your shading so this set only goes up to 2H is up to there yeah but basically so you've got all of these so you've got these different shades straight away and this is about adjusting pressure or blending or anything like that so you, so you can get your shades a lot easier with a set like this now you don't have to go Kohinoor uh, it's, I'm just a bit of a fan of theirs at the moment you can you could go with a, a set from Derwent um, most of these companies do a set of pencils um, but I would always suggest that when you buy a pencil set you, you buy a set of pencils that you find a happy now remember what a, a pencil that's good for me like this mars um because um, i really like this i use this a lot um that may not be good for you you may prefer the derwent graphic you may prefer the cheap pencil you may prefer the, the thinner precision pencil yeah now they all do different size leads as you can see this is hb so there's the there's the leads that you bought you i think this came with it actually and it just little leads and they've got a load of leads inside there yeah where with this you can buy two or three of these pens um and you can have the packs of leads and that and you just buy the packs of leads so you don't have to buy the whole pen again you just buy the packs um, for the different sizes you just adjust this to whatever what to remind you what's in actually inside there so with answering that question about what pencil should i buy to be quite honest majority of pencils graphite pencils are good that that i don't i've not seen even these are not too bad um i would sharpen it but it take quite a while uh so they're not too bad at all even the one that you get from school it's still going to be this HP. So this HB is going to be exactly the same as this Derwent. Yeah. So it's the same shade. Because they're all going by the same chart at the end of the day. But buying a set is going to help you a lot more to get different techniques with your shading. So that way you don't have to uh, put so much pressure on the end of the pencil and damage your paper now this paper's rubbish anyway it's just a cheap printing stuff so so hopefully that helps with that question so with a pencil you've got plenty on the market to choose from and all i suggest is if you see a set a, a set that's giving you the different grades of shades that's going to help you out a lot more and there you go that's an example of some brands of graphite pencils so it didn't really matter if it was a cheap pencil or an expensive pencil it was still more or less doing the same shade because they work to the same uh, scale of the grid of what they're they're producing in the shades so what I would suggest though is when you buy a pencil you buy a set so that way you've got your darks and your lights this is going to help you a great deal in your shading 
which we will talk about shading on your, on the next video. What we're going to talk about next is sharpening the pencil. It is really strongly advised that you keep your pencil sharp as as much, as long as you can. Now with the dearer pencils, they're going to keep their point a lot longer than the cheaper pencils. But it's just a case of sharpening and just keep and watching what you're doing and seeing how blunt the pencil's getting. So let's have a look at some of the sharpeners that I use. Okay, laid out here, I have a few selection of my pencil sharpeners that I have. Um, let's run through them. So basically you've got your crank sharp sharpeners. These are these two here, which has got the handle. Same as what, if you're as old as me and you remember at school, we've got your handles on there to crank them up. And this is two brands that um, I've been using for my graphite pencils. Um, and I would say at the two, the swordfish is the the best one I've found and especially the fact that what you can do with these is with these you can actually um, buy new blades for them they just come apart like so um, I really I, I do like this one actually this one is very good um, it could do with a new blade in it, actually I've had that one for quite a while um, and when when the blades new in that you will uh, be able to sharpen uh, pastel pencils in there uh, pretty well as, as well but uh, once it starts getting blunt then the pastel pencils will start breaking um, so I, I used to use that for my pastel pencils at the beginning but then when they started breaking I stopped using it I just use it for my graphite pencils uh, the this one here is your electric sharpener um, so I will demonstrate that. So with, this is uh, the 2B Kohinoor, and you can see the point there is is not brilliant, as you can see. Um, so with this, and it should come to a stop. And there you go, it comes to a stop, and there's your point. It doesn't, to be quite honest, it, this one was only cheap. Um, it wasn't too badly priced. Um, and it does do a, a nice point on it. Uh, but what I find is it's quite noisy. Um, cleaning it out is it's a bit of a pain because with this one, is you've got to tip it up and keep it all balanced in there to, and so you're better off over the bin with it. It does have a, a gauge set on this, but to be quite honest, uh, I've not noticed any difference whatsoever on that gauge. Uh, I've got it on the sharpest point. If I put it on the others, it would still sharpen to the same depth as the others. Um, I don't use that as much as I used to, um, to be quite honest. And there's, unless you really want to go for an electric then yeah you, you can do it's just that you still got to have a lead they do some of these in battery as well but i don't know how long the batteries will last then you've got your little container uh, uh sharpener which this is a this one's got a, I, I do like this one because it's got a metal sharpener in there uh, metal is better i've always found that the plastic ones crack after a while um and you don't want that and you've got your two sizes as well so see so your larger size pencils that can go in there and there's your normal pencils and you can see it's a bit blocked i've used that one quite a few times and the, the advantage with this one is basically that it doesn't leak um it all stays inside there you pull it over the bin and just pop it open and empty it nice and simple and, and that, that's why i do like that um be, easier to carry around then you come down to these down here now this is where it's a little bit different now the best pencil sharpener i've had is these two here your your standard this one's a lot a little uh uh little same sort of sharpener that's in there but just handheld and with your two sizes again um I find it quite stronger um, and it just means over a, you've got to be over a container. I, I use uh, an old container like this sort of thing and just sharpen over the top. But also I use this because I'm um, playing with uh, water pencils at the moment. Um, I can keep the shavings uh, in a different container 
from this and then basically I can use the shavings as well and then you got this one which is Faber-Castell which is a great sharpener and it just pops open and what this does is gives you a bit more variety so basically you got your, your color grip it says there you used to just say color but your, your color pencils will go in here your graphite pencils here and you've got your it says universal now graphite pencils here and basically your larger pencils there which is and which is and this is a very very nice sharpener and it it really is nice for you especially with your color pencils um i do like this very much so um and then of course to empty it we just pop it off like so and you can see this one's nice brand new it's not been used yet i've got two of these um i like this one that much um and it's just as simple as that so you still got your container so you, so if you're if you're taking your pencils um, away with you, um, you can still sharpen them. You haven't got to worry about bin. And you just close it up. It's a it's a bit bulkier than this um, and this. I mean this size, is, but it is it is a good pencil sharpener. I do like that. Then you've got your other alternative. Now you've got also your your knife, your carving uh, crafting knife. Now. To be quite honest, if you're going to give your kids um, pencils and you want to sharpen them, you're going to give them something like this or something like this more than you're going to do this. Now, because you don't really want your kids to have a knife, really. But if you uh, if you know me, then you know that I'm a, a pastel pencil artist. So I prefer pastel pencils, which are very, very difficult to sharpen without breaking. So the most common thing I end up using is this. But there and then you've got this, which is a fantastic sharpener for pastel pencils. So basically what you do with these, so let's get a pastel pencil. So this is a, a, a Derwent pastel pencil. And, and basically what you'll do with this is, try and do this on camera, let's be a first. You just you can either push this down like so, and you can see it's just taking it off. It's not easy this angle. And you'll just keep pushing down, taking it down. Is that the same sort of thing as you do a carpenter? Now you can re you get replacement blades with this as well, but you can turn the blade round and actually pull up on it if you wanted to do it that way I have found it easier this way which helps get the wood away and then once you've done that you'd go on to either this is a sandpaper stick which you would sand it down like so start to get to a point or you use this now I was introduced to this by um, another youtuber from the art gear guide and when I see this, I thought, fantastic, I need one. So I end up buying two. Um, you get them on uh, Amazon. And basically, you'll just scratch your pencil and slightly twist it at the same time. So you're turning it at the same time. And as you can see, it's getting there. Now remember, this is a pastel pencil. So pastel pencils are so difficult to sharpen. So, but since this has come out, it's been a, it's been an absolute godsend. And there you go. That's to sharpen a pastel pencil. 
Now I know if I put this in one of these crank handles or this pencil sharpener, this would just snap. Um, and it would just keep snapping. And which means that the pencil gets smaller and smaller and smaller. If the pencil does get smaller, you can buy these, which is a pencil extender. Now, th these are just cheap ones I've got, which um, they don't really fit Derwent's. You have to really push them on there to get them on there, but they do go on after a while. But I have, I've got a different one for a Derwent because they're a thicker barrel, but they do fit um, most pencils. So as your pencil gets lower, you push that on there, that locks on, it's just made your pencil nice and long now. So when your pencil gets a bit, bit short, you just buy a pencil extender. They're, they're really very cheap. Uh, Derwent do one that fits their pencils a lot better. It's a lot dearer than that one. Um, but the barrel on this um, the diameter, I know that you, you can more or less see the diameter is so, so bigger. That's why the difference is there. So they're the sort of pencil sharpeners that are on the market. For recommendations, um, for graphite pencils, these are great. Very good. This is still good. This is still good. Oh, that slid away. And the fabric of is good. So they are still good. If you want to go electric, you could go electric. You don't have to specifically have this one. There's, uh, there's many on the market. They're quite expensive, um, and to be honest, I'd prefer one of these to that. Um, these, because especially the sawfish, I know I can get a new blade for that. Uh, the rest coat, I'm not sure if I could get a new blade on that, but I'll have to look into that one. Um, but they work very well, especially for. Uh, so here's a Derwent. This is that Derwent. Uh, HP pencil and and as you can see nice point I'd say it hasn't come out as sharp as that one but this is blunt um, as you can see in the difference on the tips there. Um, but the, yeah, this is blunt and it needs a good clean out as well, really. Um, but it gives you an idea. So you still get a good point with these. Um, with this one, it's exactly the same. This one has, it has an adjuster here to what depth you want on the pencil. Um, I don't think I've ever seen one that actually works really. To be honest, the sawfish will come to a stop, same as the electric one. How bad's that one? It's not not that bad, but we can see. And there you go. So See if that adjustment works. Let's turn it the other way. Yeah, so that was on its that's on its full. And it's 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 okay, it's usable, but it's not that much to a point to what I'd want. But that gives you an idea of different sharpeners that are available sorry that everything's falling all down so I want my tables on a slot so your pastel pencils if you're going to be using those you're going to be looking at something like this to sharpen pastel pencils even though the sawfish will do pastel pencils when it's brand new but when the blade starts to go now I've been told you could put graphite pencils in there and it sharpens it and will help or graphite sticks you put them in there and it will help to sharpen the blades so you could go back to pastel pencils but I've found that it still starts to break them after a while 
Um, so your pastel pencils, you're going to lose use something like this to get that point on your pastel pencils. Graphite pencils, these are good. That's good. That's good. That's good. And that's good. Um, if you see these that are in plastic, what normally happens is they crack around here. They split. They, it's a very weak point. And you're better off with a metal one. Now when you use these, now some people say that the best way to use one of these is to actually turn the pencil sharpener itself. Whether that theory is correct. We will test it out. I believe the same result really myself, but still. Um, so there you go, and that's that's a much better point. And that's done a, a much better point to what the crank ones have done, actually, as you can see. But the electric one, that was the electric one. There's the pastel pencil that was done with this. Um, and this is your crankshaft ones, and that one is just your normal handheld pencil sharpener. So that gives you an idea of what pencil sharpeners are out there on the market. So <coughs> if you're going to get one of these, then I would suggest it's in metal. You, when you get one of these that are in a container, open it up, make sure it is a metal one in there because a lot of times they're plastic uh, and they will split. Over time they will split and you'll just end up having to buy another one. <coughs> This one, they, as you can see, they are plastic, but if you can see the gauge on it is a lot thicker. And um, I've not had one of these break. Um, let's see if I've got a color pencil that needs sharpening so we can sharpen one of them. I've got, here we go. Um, I don't, no, that's a pastel pencil. Can't use that. I've got so many pens, <laughs> pencils, but I'm trying to find a blunt one. That's the uh, biggest disadvantage of having so many. So let's see if it will just improve on this Derwent Lightfast. This is a brand new one, as you can see, because it's faded off. Just It don't fit in there. As you can see, it doesn't fit in there. It don't fit in there. So let's try that. There we go. But it's done a lovely job on that. But I've had to use the Derwent Lightfast in the larger size because uh, of the diameter of the pencil. And, um, and of course, being a Derwent Lightfast, it's quite an expensive pencil. Um, so, and I've got... Uh, Prisma, uh, Faber Castell. Let's just try one of theirs to see if their pencils sit in there. That colour. So, let's see if one of their colour pencils sit in there. Yeah, that sits in there. Lovely. And there you go. That's a lovely point on that for a colour pencil. Um, so that gives you a variety on the different pencils that sharpeners that are about. So with this, if you're going to be using Derwent colour pencils, you're going to end up having to use this. Um, they're not going to fit in this one, but Faber Castell, uh, they fit in there beautifully. Um, there you go. And there you go, just a basic insight into graphite pencils. And hopefully I've answered those uh, questions that I've had four or five people ask, uh, which pencil to buy. So I'm not here to promote any companies and no one's asked me to promote their products. It's just basically, if you see a set of pencils and it's in your price range, then it would be good enough for you to start. So, but always get the set. It makes life a lot easier for your shading with your different uh, shades of pencil. 
Also, we talked about pencil sharpeners. So even the cheap pencil sharpener, as long as it's metal and it's gonna be nice and strong, they are good. So just, they're fine with graphite pencils. It comes a little bit different when you're talking about pastel pencils and things like that and color pencils. Then certain pencil sharpeners do better things for them. On the next video, I'll have a time-lapse video for you because I've been asked to keep that in. So I'll have one on the next one ready for it and maybe I'll go back to graphite and, and do something in graphite for you. Um, I, because I've got no photos from any viewers at the moment, so no one sent me any artwork to put onto the art gallery. So what I've done is I've stuck some old photos I've got of some work I'd done around about four or five years ago in graphite pencil just to give you a bit of an idea they're not great pictures um, but they're just something to give you a bit of an idea and then you can see what the art gallery would be like if you do have art that you finish and you wish to show um, it's great to share um, just post it in please don't worry i've had people say to me i can't show my work it's terrible rubbish it, that, that's a, absolute rubbish if you've done it and it's your artwork it doesn't matter what age group you are even if you've just started that's great it's all about positivity it's about helping people get into this art world and and getting more people drawing so pick up a pencil give it a go now if you like the video please give a thumbs up uh, if you don't you can give a thumbs down I don't mind please subscribe the more subscribers the more thumbs up I get the more I get noticed on uh, YouTube and it's better for my channel and I really do appreciate it um, until next time keep yourself safe and happy drawing